Hey guys, it's Stephanie and Kate. And I just wanted to do a quick Friday reads video just to check in. Um, right now, I am a terrible buddy reading partner, but Maddie and I are reading Beloved by Toni Morrison and I am just loving it. I did not, like we went into this buddy read having opposite ends of the information. Like I just knew it was about a runaway slave and she only knew that it was about a woman being haunted by her baby <laughs> and oh, it's wow. like it's about like all of that so it was just funny because i was like i did not know this was like magical realism like haunting and she's like i didn't know it was about a slave i was like oh so we just That's came really in with like opposite ends of information but um she's doing a readathon right now and i have just been like all over the place but we are doing it and we are like absolutely loving it the writing is beautiful it's very visceral it's very intense a lot of like crazy intense things happen mm. in Beloved. But intense is fun. Intense is fun and scary. <laughs> kind of scary. Um, and then I am reading in an arc I got from NetGalley that I am not sure how I feel about yet. Um, it's called In 20 Years um, by Allison Wynn Scotch. And the premise just sounded really good. It's about like this group of friends that live together in this house when they're in college. There's six of them, I think it's three guys and three girls. And they do a time capsule. And then they have a big falling out and the main ringleader girl dies. And they get a note 20 years later to come back and meet up and stay in the house. And really they have to like confront each other's problems and like make peace with themselves. And it sounded really interesting. But my one issue with it is that everyone is really successful, like unrealistically. <laughs> like there's one character who's a rock star and she's like on tour and has all these albums. There's another character who's like the pioneer woman of crafts. She has like, she has a deal for like an HGTV show and she has like a line of products at Target. And then like a guy is a plastic surgeon and then the other person is like just this wealthy housewife. <laughs> And it reminds me of, if you watched One Tree Hill, they kept the series going after they graduated from high school. Oh. And then that season does a five-year time jump. And, like, oh. one girl is, like, a famous musician. One guy is in the NBA. Like, Chad Michael Murray's character is, like, this award-winning novelist. And Brooke Davis, like, runs, like, this fashion empire. And I, like, I had a really hard time with just how, like, ridiculous all of that was. So I am getting some One Tree Hill-ish feel about this book. And I really think I would want to read it more if it was maybe a little more realistic. So that's, mm. that's my beef with in 20 years. So what is Kate reading right now? I am reading uh, a mystery, Shocker. <laughs> And it is by Elizabeth George, who's like in my top three, like my tr holy trinity of mystery authors. <laughs> and it's uh, Well Schooled in Murder. This is the third in the Inspector Lindley series. And in this one, um, there is, it's really sad, there's like a little boy that disappears from a school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's kind of like pulls at your heartstrings. But it's just the writing is so eloquent and it's just it's very literary like I like my cozies but then Elizabeth George is fun when I like want to annotate things and I'm putting like little tabs in it um, whenever I see like a quote that I like and I'm really enjoying this I'm reading this with uh, Kate from the novel Nomad so oh. we love reading this series together and then reading just a very <laughs> little <laughs> bit of The Count of Monte Cristo I just started this and I'm buddy reading this with Ange from Beyond the Pages and Yemeni from A Skeptical Reader and I I can't read classics nearly as quickly as they do so I started this like half a month sooner than they did <laughs> so I feel like I'll be able to like keep up with them so the goal is to finish this in two months wow that's we'll see ambitious. how it goes but I hear actually from a lot of people who don't even read lots of classics normally that it's very fast paced oh, good. and like quick moving so I would not think that Yes, okay. yeah. Hopefully it is like action packed and easy so. to plow through. All right. Well, that is what we are reading. What are you guys reading this weekend? Let us know in the comments. We do want to know. Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a